Hello, Andrew Andrew here, about to go see Juan Leguizamo's, uh, John Leguizamo's Ghetto Clown. I can say Ghetto Clown, I just can't say his last name. I John, I could use a good laugh. You could, because you're feeling under the weather. I know, I'm sick, so I yeah. could use a good laugh. I've never actually seen him perform before. We're yeah. John Virgins We're here. John Leguizurgeon. I mean, he's a legend. He's been around for a million years, and in fact, he's been criticized a little bit for, for doing the same sort of show over and over again. Help me with this. John Leguizamo. That's good. We'll see at the first intermission. <laughs> so we just got an intermission, first intermission. It's a long first act. Very long first act, very intense. Um, I mean, really strong, full narrative arc. It's funny, and it's like it's kind of like a stand-up, but it goes deeper. It gets to some dark places, and what's funny is that I don't think the audience realizes how to handle it. Yeah, people are a little bit uns unsure of how to do it. They're like, this is this ghetto clown. How come he's crying? I don't know what to do with this crying clown. Um, he's quite talented. Uh, he does characters, everything from, well, he does a wide variety of characters. Interesting uh, storyline. A, lo a lot like his other work. Very self-referential and very um, self-involved. I mean, he even opens it by saying, by calling it his therapy. It seems a bit 90s in nature. Yes, um, very 90s. Reminds me of Sandra Bernhardt, sort of an yeah. inside-outsider sort of store. Like, like uh, let's let's open up my diary, warts and all. I really have to give him credit, though, for trying something more than just humor, where Sandra Bernhardt, where other one-man shows, it's, it's all comedy. He's really trying to get somewhere deeper than just comedy. Yeah. Maybe the audience can't handle it, but he certainly can. That's good. Okay, second act. Let's go. Well, we got out of the... You gotta show the bow tie. Okay. Branding, Andrew. Branding. So we got out of the final act, and um, it's I, I have never seen this level of narrative and technological complexity in a one-man show. Yeah. But then again, I haven't seen a whole lot of one-man shows. Uh-oh, my hair. One-person person show. show. First off, hats off to the technical director yes. and also the sound cues. A lot cues. of tricky sound cues and mic work, which I really appreciate. Not something that you normally see in a stand-up act. No, and it is a glorified stand-up act. It is beyond a stand-up act. But However, it's gilded in all the right ways. For those of you out there that do not speak Spanish as a second learn language... Learn Spanish before you go. Learn, to go I mean, it is dramatical. Yes. Um, to borrow, to borrow a, uh, a leg was ominism. What yeah. do you think? Red, yellow, or green? I just, I'm not 100% on it. I've got to say, I'm going to say like a yellow light. I'm not totally into it. And I would I say, have you know what? Show. I'm going to just go off on a limb. If you're a student of theater, green light. If this is the first show you've seen, green light it. Yellow light? Uh, i got to say yellow. Green light and yellow light. Andrew Andrew for John Legazamos. Ghetto Clown.